it's like a bow stop for to go on a trailer and this was like uh, five dollars and something we'll look it up on the internet hey guys today uh working on my hobie cat 16 and uh what i'm gonna do is uh i'm gonna make a mast support okay i've been using this foam rubber which works however if you see here right in this area we got a lot of wear and that's from uh when this thing sometimes gets blown off or gets out of the way and it winds up uh wearing pretty night pretty heavily on this track and if you know anything about hobie cats all these parts are made of 24 karat gold so they're really expensive even the ones that are made out of plastic so anyway uh i'm gonna set this up here and i'm gonna show you how uh i'm gonna go about doing this actually i'm not the uh idea man behind this uh, although i haven't seen any videos uh for making one of these on youtube uh if you buy a mass support which they do sell them they're like $55 and that's without shipping. That's before shipping. And so you're probably looking at 65 bucks to get one. Uh, but I saw one, a friend of mine, Steve, he had made his own and uh, it, was, it was actually a really cool design. So now I did have to buy this. This is a I didn't have to buy this, first of all, let me say that. This is a contour gauge, and so what you do is you just take it and you press it in and it'll it'll form to the to this. You don't have to buy this. Uh, it's like eight dollars on Amazon, or you can go to the Home Depot or whatever. But uh, I went ahead and bought this because this is actually a pretty cool tool. For tile, I do uh, I do tile work sometimes, and uh, this would be great for getting around a door or or mortising in uh, around the bottom of a uh, threshold or something. So anyway, uh, yeah, this is called a contour gauge, and it's about eight dollars. So anyway, uh, but yes, yeah, I mean you know. I thought it was really cool when I saw it and I had to I really wanted to do one for myself all right so if you see here oh well I guess I'm kind of covering it up let me let me start over okay so what I'm doing here is I'm just gonna take it and I'm, I'm gonna try to hold this level with the boat pretty much and I'm just gonna push this down okay and I'm going to go all the way to the bottom. All right. And make sure that these are kind of lining up correctly. All right. So there we go. That's the contour. And what I did is I already made, I already, I already did this once. So I, this should be pretty close right here. All right. Looks like there's a gap right there, isn't there? Hmm. I think these got shoved out of the way is what it is. They got, uh, it got pushed over. But anyway, uh, this should be, this should be pretty accurate. I'm doing this on film, so I'm not being quite as careful. All right, so now, where's my tape measure? I'm always leaving stuff but this is three and three-eighths of an inch wide now I was just going to use like a four by four okay and I'm not going to make the little uh, I'm not going to do this this is just gonna the wood is going to come straight across right here but yeah so this is what I'm going to use now what I'm gonna do next is uh, I've got a table saw okay so let's let's go over there and we're gonna 
take this piece of paper and we're going to determine where we want how deep we want to make these cuts so I'm going to just use uh, the contour gauge and a table saw so let's see what we got okay so I've got the piece of paper over here now okay now what I want to do is uh, I've measured the saw the width of the saw blade all right now if you had a band saw or something like that uh, it would be a little easier to make these uh, curved cuts but I don't so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to every eighth of an inch I'm going to make a mark and that will uh, let us know exactly where the the blade is going to hit okay so I'm just going to go across through here making a mark every eighth of an inch just going through the whole thing all the way across all right one more right there okay now and I'll probably speed this up to so you don't have to so let's get this squared up all right we'll just do it right there all right I'm gonna cut that down I'll be right back Okay, now once I get all these marked out and you see I got some lines that are off there they they weren't square so I wanted this to be square I'm gonna take and I'm gonna measure the height it, this is kind of a pain but I, I don't have a bandsaw and uh, so th I think this is gonna work the best for you may have a better idea about how to to get this curvature but this is the only thing that I've thought of and it, it this may not be exact but this should get us close enough where at least so I'm just gonna go by this bottom line okay yeah, I need to get something to write all this on okay so we'll, we'll call this number one all right so number one is 11 sixteenths all right number two is seven eighths seven eighths number three Hmm. not quite an inch it's actually over 15 16 so that would be like uh, 30 30 31 30 seconds so it's like really almost an inch so that's one two three four so right here so that is it right Oh, wait a minute. One, two, three, eleven sixteenths, seven, eight. Well, that's actually a little over seven eight. So that must be that was fourteen. So fifteen. Huh? I mean, uh, what? No, fifteen sixteenths. Twenty. <coughs> 29 30 seconds maybe all right so that's one two three number three is over an inch actually an inch and a sixteenth so i don't know how the heck i got it says one two three yeah uh, Yeah, that's an inch and a sixteenth. So I don't know how I got 
that other measurement. So one and one sixteenth. All right. So I, I need to probably I need to say okay that one's done. There's two. There's three. So this line right here. is an inch and an eighth. So one and one eighth. So that's that one. So one and three sixteenths. So that's an inch and a quarter. So now for this one, it's a little over 5 sixteenths, so let's see that 5 sixteenths, that's 10, 30 seconds, so 11, 30 seconds, so 1 and 11, 30 seconds. That's in between as well. That's uh, it's not three eighths. So that's six sixteenths, seven. I mean, uh, six sixteenths, twelve, thirteen, thirty seconds. God, everything is between thirteen, thirty seconds. So one and thirteen, thirty seconds. This is okay. That's seven sixteenths there. So one and seven sixteenths. All right, let me mark that one so I don't get messed up on the lines. All right, now. Mm, yeah, it's halfway between seven sixteenths and a half. So. 14, 30 seconds, 15, 30 seconds. No, wait, wait, wait. Uh, yeah, 14, 15, 15, 30 seconds. All right, so now we're at an inch and a half. One and a half. Whew, boy, that's real close. I'm gonna say uh, nine sixteenths. One and nine sixteenths. It's kind of showing the same thing, one and nine sixteenths again. Like I say, I'm gonna have to um, use a sander or something to to smooth it out anyway, so it, it's not gonna be a huge deal if it's a little bit off. All right, so we're just gonna go up to two. Uh, We'll say two and a sixteenth. Two and a sixteenth. And that ought to go, that ought to be the same all the way across. Yeah, it is. Okay. If we measure to that line, we're over, we're at uh, one and five eighths is where, that's where this begins is at. Let's see, I'll just draw this out. Um, oh, I don't know. Oh, well, anyway, something like that. Can't even tell which angle I'm looking at. Um, so, at this point from here over to here is one and five eighths. Is that right? <laughs> Better check it again, because now I don't even know. Yeah, one and five eighths, okay. And that'll go over to that line, which is two and a half. All right, so this, this line will be at two. Let me go ahead and do this. And a half. I guess this is in the camera, I don't know. Maybe writing stuff out of the camera, all right? Now, it looks to me like 
that this actually curves out and then the bottom of this is at two and five eighths almost so yeah I mean it, it curves out a little bit right here and from this point over to here is two and five eighths all right now we're going to start these back up again the depth of this is two and a sixteenth okay yeah that's that's where i got that at so um we're gonna go we'll go cross out the rest of this stuff all the way over to we get to I guess to this one. All right, so that's going to be an inch and a half. I'm going to start here. We're going to say one and one half. All right, so there's there's that one, and then the next one. Huh, say one and seven sixteenths. One and seven sixteenths. One and a quarter. Oh, wait a minute. I'm wrong line. One and five sixteenths. What I'm going to do now is you, you see I'm a little I'm not I'm not really where I need to be. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to let's see how far off we are. Okay. Quite a ways to go on some of this got a uh, Gerber knife here let's just see what the oh boy wind up getting hurt here if I'm not careful let me just try to knock some of that off of there okay so let me get a block of wood maybe uh oh just want to go let me try it from this edge See how close that is. Huh. Way off over there. It's not so bad on this side. Hmm. 
Hmm. Okay, so yeah, we gotta go way up. Or well, maybe not too high, cause this thing is actually lower than what it was. not perfect if you had a bandsaw you could do better see what I did it's just the uh, table saw and it, it's not straight but you see what we got there it's actually not that bad considering how rough it is on the bottom all right let's see how it looks over here yeah it definitely it's not perfect honestly though that that's probably good enough i mean you know maybe put uh some cushioning on the bottom or something so anyway i'm not too i'm not too disappointed in that it's the next morning uh so i kind of skipped ahead here i went ahead and put it together uh it got dark on me but uh anyway yeah this yeah this thing actually worked out pretty good if you wanted to you could uh you could actually uh, put it in the exact center if you notched for this. But honestly, uh, I don't want to take any chance of uh, putting pressure on all that stuff because I'll be winding up uh, having to change that if I'm not careful. So I'm going to just stick it off to one side a little bit and... Uh, but yeah, this is a three by three inch on the bottom. I was gonna get a, I was thinking about using a half inch dowel through here, a wooden dowel, dowel. And then that way it could stick out and I could uh, put the screws. I put three screws, let me show you. Bear with me, I'm single handed here, so. All right, so yeah, that wound up fitting pretty good. And honestly, as far as the whittling goes, I uh, I did better when uh, I was just taking the blade of the knife and scraping. And I pre-drilled these holes. Got two different kind of screws in there, but um, I pre-drilled all these holes, and so uh, this just basically screws into the into the rubber without uh having any grip in the wood um okay so no but uh that fits pretty good and it's not exactly you know it's not a hundred percent it has maybe just a little bit of movement to it but not too bad and it you know sure beats uh 65 dollars um if you've already got a table saw if you got a band saw you're going to be a lot better off but it's uh, a bow stop is three inches square bottom uh and they've got some that are have a different uh angle i thought from the photo it looked like the angle on this was going to be much higher but when I actually received it, it was it was pretty wide. So anyway, um, yeah, let's uh, let's go take a look and see what they would cost if you had to buy one. This is it tied in, and you see, uh, you know, it's uh, 
it, I think it I think that'll be fine also another thing is uh I just you, you leave my tiller arm attached I've actually this is bolted in and so it's not even that easy to get apart uh, and I just leave this and this little bungee works perfect for that I thought I would go ahead and show you these things here this is like a bungee cord okay but it's it's just a so you can tie something on Hobie cat trailer mat support there it is it's $56.99 and they seem to be regulating their prices same exact price same exact price so yeah $56.95 or 99 plus shipping all right there we go it's a C cents bow stop three by three inch five dollars and twenty five cents 